Hey, what's going on everyone? I am back. Today is September the 9th, 2022. We're going to talk about a lawsuit against Elon and how he was pumping Dogecoin. We're going to talk about that, but always my main purpose is to come through and give you all ideas as to where I'm looking for the market to go without the confusion. So if you guys want to join me, if it's your first time coming, welcome. Hit the like button. Check me also subscribe to the channel. I don't pump up cryptocurrencies. I don't give you all a whole lot of fluff. I simply pay attention to the money, which is on the price chart. All right. So you guys want to join me, go ahead and do all those things. Let's get to this article real quick, because apparently it looked like more people is joining the lawsuit that a couple of plaintiffs have brought against Elon. Now, one thing from this article from Dylan Butts, right? It was posted to the Internet yesterday. You guys can see those tweets, right? And they're kind of intriguing. And it's kind of like proof to show you that Elon may have, in fact, pumped Dogecoin, right? Just look at a couple of those tweets. A lot of people was hyped like they were pumped to see Dogecoin go to the moon and they got images of Elon and the Dogecoin dog all showing how hyped they were. They were giddy to see this Dogecoin go to the moon. That can be submitted as evidence for this lawsuit. It's 258 billion dollars too. 258 billion dollar lawsuit filed against Elon Musk by an American Dogecoin investor accusing him of running a Dogecoin cryptocurrency pyramid scheme because it's a legend that he has done that. We're going to talk about that because we'll look at the chart as to when he did a Saturday Night Live skit and he called Dogecoin like a hustle. And since that time, Dogecoin has dropped like 90%. This is what this article goes into. So quick facts about what's going on. Now, this case was filed in June by a New England electrician, Keith Johnson. It goes to show you that anyone can be sued. Keith Johnson is suing CEO Elon Musk. They also added seven new people as complainants or plaintiffs. All investors who lost money in Dogecoin and six new people to defend themselves. In addition, summonses in the civil action case were sent to Elon himself and the other defendants on Wednesday. New defendants include Elon Musk's Tunnel Construction Company, The Boring Company, and the Dogecoin Foundation, which calls itself a nonprofit that provides governance and support for Dogecoin. They're nonprofit, so what are you going to get from them? Other people who are defendants are various people or developers of Dogecoin, online influencers who pushed the digital asset, and Billy Marcus and Jackson Palmer, the software developers who founded Dogecoin, initially referring to the project as a joke. Now they got to defend themselves against this lawsuit. The suit alleges that those defendants, they drove up the price of Dogecoin more than 36,000%. Over two years and then let it crash. Now, that to me is not a pyramid scheme. That to me is a, is a pump and dump. So maybe this case may get thrown out just off that premise alone. In 2021, on Saturday, Saturday Night Live, Musk called Dogecoin, Dogecoin a hustle during the skit which triggered a real-time crash in Dogecoin's price. The coin never recovered, dropping about 90% in value since. Now, that's according to CoinGecko. Now, look at this. That occurred in May of 2021. Okay? So, let's go all the way back to May of 2021. You see that? beginning of May 2021 after he did that skit look at the price in Dogecoin today that is a massive fall right look at that 91% that's a pump and dump the market ran up real quick in a short amount of time and it came back down quick and it been a slow bleed off ever since then 
Now, if they have to prove that it was a pyramid scheme, they probably can't prove that. But if they could prove a pump and dump, they could definitely do that because there there may be some reason. No, Alec, I mean, it may be reasonable for people to say, yeah, Elon, if you did that skit and said that Dogecoin was a hustle, price did go down 90 percent. We're looking at the evidence on the price chart. What do you think? They may have a case from that round. The pyramid scheme. I don't know about that one. Let's get back to the chart. Okay, you guys can see that I did a video what a couple of days ago in Dogecoin, and we did see price fall to the downside, but it didn't go extremely lower. You guys can see that price held up in Dogecoin right here. Okay, so let's keep it real. The market found support on the same day that it found support on July the 13th. It did it again here. Okay, so we may see a slight move higher in Dogecoin. We may see that. Now you guys can see that my ultimate area for us to cut the play is up here around seven and a half, or maybe eight cents. So let's keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the chart though on the two on the two day for Dogecoin. You guys can see that a lot is not going on. The market is just pretty much stagnated. Um, there is a part of me that wants to say that the market may not go lower especially in the next 12 hours and 51 minutes if we continually see this market close higher than the previous two days we may see opportunity for the market and those going to make a small move higher now it's going to be up there towards seven cents i would say maybe seven and a quarter right there in uh, those coins so we could actually continue to keep this price prediction that we have right now on and put on another price prediction looking for the market to go up in Dogecoin okay now this is Dogecoin on the weekly and I would say okay the next two days and 13 hours if the market looks the way that it looks right now I would say yeah the market's going to continue to trend higher maybe go to seven maybe even go to that almost seven and a half eight cent price uh, that I mentioned earlier in the video so I'm definitely keeping my eyes open uh, right now the market doesn't look extremely weak it looks as if my price prediction is going to get tested to where the buyers look like they're going to try to continue to move this market higher in Dogecoin. Okay, so check this out. Yeah, we really need to see in the next two days how this market is going to move in Dogecoin because this two weekly price bar here, we got two more days on this current one and the market didn't even really move. So that tells me that support is coming in the market in Dogecoin right around here. It's where the buyers are coming in at. And it doesn't look like the market's going to try to run down to a nickel in Dogecoin. Okay. So matter of fact, let me go ahead and do this real quick. Because I'm going to go ahead and cut that price prediction. And recognize that the market is not going to continue to go down. Okay. So that will be a loss of around 1.77%. And we're going to play this to the upside. I'm going to switch it. And move the market higher in Dogecoin, okay? Now, I definitely want to see the market hold this area here, uh, which is what, five and a half cents? 9.59%. But I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit lower. Now, my first area is gonna be around seven cents, okay? You guys can see that's 10%. Uh, movement higher in Dogecoin. It might just go that far. I'm not going to be massively bullish though. Okay, so we got seven cent first. Yeah, let's just do seven and leave that alone. Let's see the market run up to around seven cents. We continually see strength over the next couple of days. Uh, seven and a half cents would be my second area. That's around 18% move higher in Dogecoin. All right, so that is it. Give me your thoughts about the lawsuit. Give me your thoughts about. Where do you think Dogecoin is going to go next? Right, I'm done. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.